Stuck out in the wilderness fighting for survival, nothing improves morale more than a warm, glowing fire. My hands are starting to get really cold, Ben. And out here, if you don't do something about that, straight away you end up in real trouble. And, you know, that sort of thing, that attitude is something that was really instilled in us, you know, in the Special Forces. Just that ability to look after yourself, you know, on your own, in the extremes. In extreme conditions, it can be a real battle. Finding the right location, though, is critical. This is about the biggest boulder around here. That's a good place for me to shelter, nicely protected from the wind. Then it's a case of gathering tinder from whatever resources are on hand. Here we go, look, this is looking better. See all that? That is dry, and that's gonna make great, uh, great tinder. All I going to use just for tinder is all of this stuff. It's called Barba de Viejo, which literally means old man's beard. And you can see why, look, it's really kind of wispy. But the reason it's good for tinder is that it grows on these trees and therefore it's off all of the nasty wet ground. And it should take a spark uh, pretty well. Old birch tree. And this stuff is great as tinder. All we've got to do is cut into it a bit and peel it off. The next and most important ingredient of all is patience. And the key with this is not rushing the early stages of it. Just take your time, and you want to do at least a minute, maybe even two minutes, of just steadily building up the heat at the bottom of the spindle. Ah, you dog! Come on. Do you know what? I can't remember it taking so long. Oh. Well, I'm always surprised. And it never fails to make me smile. Fire is secured. Now you can dry out, warm up, and cook your food. And liver's really good survival food, packed full of iron. It's also really vitamin and nutrient rich. And I really love it. The four stick fire concentrates the heat and burns hot. So watch out for the handles. I use a bit of this moss. Moss mitts. Let's give this a try. Mm. Sprucy. A roaring flame will offer protection from danger. Before it gets dark, I really need to get a fire going. And the best way out here in the Rockies with all this dry pine and spruce is a hand drill method. Use your rock to make a notch in a log and by rotating the drill, ignite a spark with very dry kindling. It's not easy. Be prepared, it can take a long time. 